This is the house where I grew up in. I arrived here when I was 10 months old and 22 years later, I moved out and got married. There used to be four maple trees on the perimeter of this property. There was a large one right there. That's where I parked my car when I first got one. Four trees there. There was a balsam fir here, I believe it was. There's an apple tree out there, which I remember they cut down when I was very small. And in the backyard, there was a pear tree. I climbed all those trees. The one in the backyard, I built a tree house in. Out here is the garage, shaped like a barn. This house was built in 1902. And I'm not sure when the barn was made. There wasn't a fence here when we first moved in. And we had a dog named Buckshot. We called him Bucky and I can barely remember it, but I do know that he ran out there on Dover Place and got hit by a car and killed. So my dad had this fence put in. And then we started getting Springer Spaniels. My dad had four of them. Here's what they looked like. The first one was Lady. There was a garden here and that's where she's buried. Built a lot of projects out here in the garage. There's wheels from my wagon, which I took off and made a go-kart out of. There's the front door. Here's the front room. When they first moved in here, I guess they tried to take off the um, wallpaper and it left a lot of bad marks so they uh, they patched it up and they put this texture on it got a lot of scrapes on these walls so this this uh, room and uh, up the stairs has this heavy texture on it here's the dining room we only ate here on special occasions this is the we call it the sewing room my mom spent a lot of time here. She was always in fashion because she made a lot of her clothes. Uh, she made a lot of dresses and things for my sisters and she made my leisure suit. It was light blue and I had that on when I met my wife. Small closet there. Pretty big one here. My dad put these four hooks up for my three sisters and I to hang our coats on. Here's the kitchen. Both my mom and dad were good cooks, so I ate well here. Bathroom off the kitchen. There's a back porch there. And over here is a, I always thought this was neat. Spices were in this, this little cabinet. Let's go downstairs. This is where the ironing board was and other things. This did not flush, but I would use it every once in a while and flush it with a bucket of water. Washer and dryer. This is the fruit room. Stored a lot of canned vegetables and fruits down here. Here's my dad's workbench. Had a vise on the end. My mom had all kinds of uh, cleaning supplies right there. My dad had all kinds of weightlifting equipment in here. He used them often and he got pretty big and strong.
kitchen here had a table right right there next to the wall and my dad said sat at this end and my mom and I sat on either side of him well actually I sat over there my mom sat here and my three sisters sat at the far end of the table there's an air conditioner there now didn't used to be air conditioned didn't used to have carpeting in here didn't used to have a colored TV Here's the stairways upstairs. How many steps are there? A lot. Believe it or not, that is very small. I jumped all the way down there. Stayed alive. Here was my bedroom. Got to sleep in here all by myself, a room to myself. The downside was, I was afraid at night sometimes when I was younger. Across from here's my mom and dad's. Another AC unit that wasn't here then. Here's where my three sisters stayed in this room here. They got one window. Probably didn't have the cross breeze that I had. A couple other things that were in here back in the day. This uh, furnace was not here. That freezer was not here. The furnace was a very large coal burning one. It took up all that space right there. And this was the coal room. It had uh, wood walls around it and that window over there opened up and a chute came through there and the coal was loaded up and they filled this room up with coal and there were shovels in here and uh, we heated the house with coal. These ceiling joists were all replaced by my father. There's still some uh, lengths of this oak wood out in the, in the garage there. It's probably about four of them left. It's uh, one by three quarters and they're very long. I look to be about 11 inches tall there. And, uh, well, when he put the duct work in, he had, he had to work the wood around all this duct work. And so he, he marked the duct work with, uh, I remember, a red and a blue crayon so that when he had to put it back together again, it would fit. So he took that all down. And of course he had no power, power tools. He, uh, Put these up with some, uh, look like nine inch nails, but uh, I don't know if they were that long. They were huge, big spikes. And he did that because the floor was uh, probably sagging and rotting and uh, well, he made it right. <laughs> a lot of work. Well, I'm selling the place. The house will be gone, but my memories will remain. I hope whoever buys this place takes care of it and has a good life. I'll drive by once in a while, see how it's going. Fox Turtle out.